Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make some slow cooker chocolate candy. This was requested by a subscriber and it's a great recipe to share with your neighbors or to set out for a party or you can use it for your Christmas dessert table. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make the candy will be found in the information box below. You can also find it on my website or my Roku channel. These are the ingredients that you're going to need. Salted dry roasted peanuts, German sweet chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, and these are chocolate chips. You'll also need almond bark, vanilla flavored. You're also going to need to line a mini muffin pan with little uh, cupcake liners. I have these little Christmas ones, but you can use white or whatever you prefer. They also have the silver, or gold, whatever. Um, it doesn't make any difference, but you'll need to line it because this is what you're going to put your candy in. We're going to start this by layering all of these ingredients in a specific order in the bottom of the crock pot. We're going to start with the peanuts. Okay, so put them in the bottom of the crock pot. Next is this German sweet chocolate. Next we'll do the chocolate chips. And I'm going to finish up with this almond bark. I'm just going to kind of spread this out evenly. So I'm going to put the top on now and we're going to put this on the slow cooker on low and I'm going to set it for three hours. Start it. And while this is cooking, you do not want to stir it. So we're going to let this go for three hours and then I'll show you the next step. My candy's been cooking on low in the slow cooker for three hours and now I'm ready to stir it and put it in the little cupcake liners. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I know it doesn't look melted, but I'm going to stir it up and you'll see that it is. I'm just going to stir this until it's all mixed together nicely. Okay, this is all mixed up nicely. It's all chocolatey. It smells really good. Get all the nuts off there. And now I'm just going to take this little ice cream scoop. It's about two tablespoons, and you're going to want to measure two tablespoons for each of the cupcake liners. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to drop it in there, and I'm just going to continue until I have all of them filled. I have my extra little liners here in case I need some more. All right, this is the last one. Now what I'm going to do is let these cool completely. They'll get solid again, and then we will serve them. My candy has cooled completely, so now what I want to do is put a few on here for serving. This would be really nice for a party. Using these little mini cupcake liners, I got almost four dozen, but if you use the larger cupcake liners, you'll probably be able to get 30 to 40 pieces of candy. This is slow cooker chocolate candy. I hope you enjoy it. 